Hello and welcome to Android Apps Reviews. My name is Stacy, and the app we're taking a look at today is the Color Note Notepad Notes. Uh, this is a notepad app that uh, will appeal to uh, not only those that need to take notes on a daily basis, but those that may only take one or two a year uh, due to the simplicity of the app itself. Uh, not much to the settings, uh, real simple to, to actually use. Uh, yet the functionality is uh, it's, it's, it's very nice. So let's go ahead and dive on in so that way you will get an idea of what it looks like on the inside and how it works. So when you first open Color Note up, this is what it looks like on the inside uh, with the exception of this part here that says make a video review. Now this is actually a note that I put in there myself and I set it up with a reminder for today and I'm going to show you how I did that because we're going to go in and do a couple of them now. So you click on the plus to set a reminder. You have a choice between a checklist and a text. And we're just going to do a text one right now. Um, let's say this first one, let's say I want a reminder to take my meds. I keep forgetting to take my medicine every day, so I'm going to put a note in. So uh, the next choice I would have would be to pick my color, whatever color I wanted. I'm just going to leave it on the yellow for now. That's fine. Uh, and then I could go in and in the corner I would have the option I could uh, throw it away I could send it to somebody else uh, when I click on that of course it's going to give me do I want to do any of these things here it gives you quite a few options of how you want to send it Bluetooth you want to push it to somebody if you have that installed uh, some of these things are things that I have installed send as an attachment so anything you have on any way that you can move this thing it's going to let you move it uh, uh, this app is very, uh, and one thing about this app also is uh, you can paste right into it. So you, you can copy something from somewhere and you can paste right into it real easy. Uh, you can even paste into, uh, uh, you know, a full story. You can get a full story out of, uh, you'll be looking on the web and you can copy some stuff over and bring it right in. Uh, it's pretty handy. All right. Let me, anyway, I kind of veered off there a little bit. Let me get into the reminder. I want to set a reminder on this thing because I need to be reminded pretty much every day. So... Um, before I click on remind me every day I'm gonna explain what all these things do <clears throat> if I was to pick remind me every day uh, that's the last option it's gonna give me I'm gonna click on that and it will be done uh, if it remind me today would allow me to click on it then I would be able to pick what time today I want it to be reminded uh, remind me in 15 and remind me in 30 does that that means 15 minutes or 30 minutes before whatever time and date that I pick and pin the status bar is simply this note's always going to be in your status bar. There's always going to be something up there. Well, I don't really want to flood my status bar with any more than there already is. Uh, that's where my notifications are. So I'm just going to be reminded every day. And of course, and that's all there is to it, like I said. And there we go. So now it's set. So let's go in and set another one. This time we'll do a checklist so you have an idea what it looks like. Okay, so on the checklist, I'm going to need to name this checklist, and I'm just going to make this a shopping list. For example, uh, let's add an item. Uh, let's add milk. And let's add another item. Let's add bread. Okay. Now, I'm probably going to want to change the color on my shopping list. Let's make my shopping list orange, for example. And I don't think I need to set a reminder on my shopping list or anything like that. So we'll just go ahead and close that out. All right. And then let's do another one. Do another text one. Um, let's say this one here, I, it's a meeting that I have. I have a school meeting. And if I had more information, I would put it on there where I'm meeting them at and everything else. But for, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to put that in there. Uh, I'm going to want to change the color. Let's change the color to a red so it because it's, you know, and of course this is a one-time meeting, so I'm definitely going to want to set a reminder. I'll probably give myself a half an hour before the, the time of the thing to remind me. Um, you know, and you've got types up here. You can do it all day, time alarm or pin, and we're just going to do a time alarm. We're going to leave it alone. Uh, we're going to say it's on the 16th, and let's say 9 o'clock in the morning. So we're going to go in here, we're going to set those. It's a one-time event, and we're going to click Done. Okay. All right. 
There we go. So now we've got some good notes put in there to give you an idea of what this looks like. Um, there's uh, more that we can do at this point with these notes. Okay. Um, so up here you see sort by modified time. So if you click on this, this gives you all your sorting. So you can sort them alphabetically by color, by reminder time, and so on. But you also have view hidden over here on the side, and you can click on it. Now, right now, this is the list view. You can also do a grid view, which makes them small pop-up notes, more or less. Uh, you do the large grid, which makes them a little larger pop-up notes, so it allows you to you know, have all your notes in there as notes. Um, or you have the view, the details. Now, this is kind of handy because this actually breaks it down, and you can see uh, what, what, they're, what they're classified as underneath, like the shopping list, you can actually see what's written in there. Uh, if you have any notes that aren't, the, you know, perhaps the title of your note is not the same as what as the, uh, you know, the inside the meat, you could say, then the details one will give you a little bit more information. Um, beyond that, you can also go up into this corner. Now here you're going to be able to get to your settings, your backup, which I'll explain that before I go into the settings here in a minute. Uh, you can do a search when you have a lot of notes set up. You know, you get 50, 60 notes in there of different things. You kind of want to sort through them and find different views, which we just did, different sorting, which I showed you before, and you've got your colors. Now, this brings up your color box. Now, everything's in here, all your colors, and it, it's going to tell you how many you have in each one. Now, with these, you have the option to actually name these colors. Um, let's say, for instance, um, I have my shopping list, which is orange. Maybe I want all my orange just to be nothing but a uh, shopping list. That's it. So what would happen was I would press right here. I just keep pressing until uh, this popped up, and then I could make that a shopping list. So from now on, I would want to pick. Um, I would want to pick orange as my shopping list color. And I could do the same, uh, let's say, let's use that red one, because that was a good one in the school meeting. Perhaps that's going to be uh, all my important meetings. So anything that's going to be a meeting, these are dates I don't want to miss, I am going to make them red. And I could do that for, you know, I have all of these options of these colors here. I could rename them all and use them uh, in little categories, which is very important. I mean, it's, that's how you're going to be able to take all your notes and categorize them real simple like so that's how that's what the purpose of the colors and that's how you can use the colors now let me go ahead at this point and let's go on up here into the corner and then you can see uh, a few of these things now let's start to top this one here you have the option that you can set up an online sync so you can sign in with any of these services and you can or you can do just a sign up and you can sign up and once you get signed up this will audit you can set it to automatically sync uh, you'll see that in the settings. You have different settings, but the good thing is you're not going to lose your notes, and you have it's going to make it easier when you switch devices because most people are switching devices, you know, at least once a year. Some people once, you know, twice a year. Some people even more than that. Uh, I personally switch probably uh, at least once a year. So you, you know, something new comes out, and you're like, oh, I want to jump into the new one. I want the new one of those. So you're always uh, switching phones. You're not going to lose your notes. Uh, you're going to be able to have everything synced up there, so when you, you, cut, you get your new uh, device, uh, if you've got Google Sync set up anyway through Android, it's automatically, when you go over and you move over, uh, you sign into your phone, boom, it's going to start installing all the apps you had before, uh, and it's going to, when this gets installed, it's, this is going to bring down your information to the sync, and you're not going to lose it. So uh, it's, a, it's a handy thing that they have with it. Okay, and we're in the notes now, but there's a calendar. So this is what your calendar looks like, which is inside this app. Uh, whenever there's something going on in a date, you're going to see a little box with the color of what's going on. To see what's going on, uh, you would press inside the box, and the pop-up will come up, and it's going to tell you what you have going on in that day. To move to the calendar, you have previous and next, or you can add something if you want to add in, uh, something going on in that day. Uh, once again, here's the one from the 16th. I'll come press there, and there we go. I got my school meeting at 9 a.m. Okay, um, and what you can do, uh, you can also add events. Let's say I had something going on on the 21st. I could just click on it and go add, and I could, it would add an event for that day only. 
um, which is kind of handy. And of course, you can do the same up here by clicking on the plus up here for the event. All right, let's move on down. Uh, you have an archive. So, you know, there's there's nothing in here now. But let's say I uh, I got some stuff that uh, that got a, some notes that got old, and I just uh, but I didn't want to throw them away because it might be something that I may may need later. So what I'm going to do at that is I'm going to move it to the archive because maybe it's something I, I went to school, I was in school, I took some notes, and I'm going to need to set my work later on or do something with it. So maybe I'm going to just put it in this archive, save it so I don't have to delete it and I can hang on to them because uh, I may need it later. And that's the purpose of the archive. Uh, and then you got your trash can, which is common sense. That's where your stuff, your trash stuff goes. Um, uh, things don't really get thrown away. Uh, you can go in your trash can later and you can, I uh, think it hangs on to them for a certain amount of time and then it deletes them so you have an option to go get them. It's kind of like a recycling bin on the Windows computers. Okay, and we have themes. Now, uh, before I go into themes, let me go back to the notes because themes is best seen from the note screen. This is the default, this is the soft one, and you honestly, you can't tell the difference um, in anything. I mean, they, the soft one to the, uh, there's, there's just a little lighter in the color. Uh, the dark, however, is extremely dark. And I've noticed, I mean, uh, not so much on this view, but whenever you go into the notes view in the dark, so I'll give you a heads up. Um, on some of them before in certain situations uh, the dark one is a little hard to read at times um, it just depends on certain devices see things are different so you got to pick what's going to work best for you uh, for the rest of them, I'm go back to the default for the rest of the tutorial and then let's have a look finally here at the settings now this is what I was saying there there's not much to the settings this is this is it so it's not going to take long for us to run through the settings because there's not much to it. Online sync. Do you want to sync on launch? You know, you have that option to click it. And you've got your sync. And if you set up your sync, it'll be done. Every time you, you know, turn it on, it's automatically going to resync. So you're not going to lose it and, and you're not going to lose your stuff. Uh, you can set your default screen. You've got notes. You can pick the notes or the calendar. Uh, default colors. And then right now, except for that, you can pick any of your colors. You can pick your font sizes. I mean, there's a lot, uh, tiny, small, medium, large, huge. You know, what type of fonts do you want? What's going to work for you? What, what do you need to see? I know you got a, a device. You want to be able to read your notes. So, and then uh, your list item height. You know, do you want, you know, small, uh, normal, or, or a tiny one? You know, whatever works best for the person. Uh, you have your sorting options. You have your reminders. That uh, This is mainly uh, for your... Most of it's for your widgets, which I will be showing that here in a bit. Uh, you have your first day of the week. So what do you want to start the first day of the week on? Uh, it's on Sunday now, and you can, you can change it to Monday or whatever. Um, you can get where you want to show the your dates on the calendar. Uh, you've got your text editors, uh, your checklist editors. Uh, you got auto link. Uh, these are all just different editors that you can go in and you can set what you want to edit what, depending on what you have installed on your device. You may even have more editors than that. Uh, so it's going to, uh, you're going to have, when you go into your editors and you open it up, you're going to have those options and it's going to be more specific to the device that you have installed on. And the more settings, there's not much there. Honestly, it's GPU rendering and that's it. You really don't even have to do anything with it. It's already checked and ready to go. Um, you can set a master password, so that way if you have important notes in there, you don't want anybody to mess with your thing. They're going to have to sign on just to get into it. Uh, your bad backups, you can set your secured auto backup uh, using your master password. You can turn that on if you set a master password. And then some frequently asked questions and then the about. That is it when it comes to the settings. You can see it's very simplistic, very easy. Uh, this is something that doesn't take long for anybody to set up and get going. Uh, once you get used to how quickly you can set up a node in this, uh, it's, it, it's pretty simple. And, and then, of course, this runs through the Google. You can use this through your Google Voice, so that way if, you, if you're taking uh, daytime uh, notes and things like that uh, through the voice, 
uh, they'll go in there real easy and really fast also. Okay, uh, let's move on finally here. And let's take a look at the widgets. Okay, here's the widgets. This is the one by one widget, and then this will only, when you uh, choose that widget, you have to choose a, a note. So that's going to be very specific just to one note. So this one was the uh, make the video review note. Uh, this is the two by two. It's extremely uh, specific also due to the fact that you can only choose one note. So uh, if you want to put a, you know, a thousand level sticky notes all over your device, uh, these two, depending on how you want to do it, would be nice. Uh, for me, this is my favorite widget. This is uh, probably the best. This is the daily widget. It pulls in what you have going on that day for notes that you need reminded about. So this is almost like your reminders sticky note. So it's going to bring them in and show you everything you've got going on in that day. And like all widgets, you can move them around the screen however you want. So this is a very, very handy widget for me. Um, uh, but uh, I do, uh, I, I recommend Color Note. I think it's a very easy program to use. I think it's a very easy program to use. I think it's uh, something that uh, once you get used to how you use it and what it's used for, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's what you can do with it is totally up to you because you can definitely take the thing and you can make it a scheduler to where you put in all your schedules, all your appointments, uh, whatever it may be. You, can, you, could, you could use this as a password keeper. You could lock the thing up and you could put all your passwords in in case you forget your passwords encrypted in the cloud. You could use this, uh, oh geez, there's so many options you can do with this that uh, it's just to the imagination how you want to, how you want to use it and, uh, and how you will use it. So, well, with that, I hope you enjoyed the tour tutorial. I hope it, it helps you out in the decision of whether you want to install Color Note or not. Uh, and I want to say, uh, please do me a favor and uh, uh, like and sub sub subscribe to my channel. And uh, I want to say, uh, stay mobile.